Hello? 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 It's Jet. We're back again with Avad. Today, it's a double feature today. Today, we're looking at Sabretooth, a DPS player from Exogenesis or Exocateers. They they merged. I don't quite remember the name. I apologize, guys. Um, anyway, so this is about a 2.6-ish comp game. Um, and Saber has a note for me here saying, after the first map, I just felt like I wasn't doing anything. Well, Saber, let's let's figure it out. Let's take a look and figure out what was going on. With that said, let's get started. Okay, I guess you're uh, checking your phone or something. Right, I like that you're going right side trying to get a little bit here. Nice shot there. You definitely take advantage of these long sight lines. You could have avoided that. That was... Uh, that was a hundred percent on you. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, that was um. You get a coach gun away, like just kind of. I, I think you do play Doomfist. So you're you're familiar with how his cooldowns work. That was just uh. We'll just um. That was just a silly mistake. Anyway, let's continue. And I gotta hide chat. Hide starts with an each. Oh my gosh. There it is. Okay, I like that you're going to the right. Okay, now look at point. Good, shooting the Moira. Now, if you don't have a shot, I know you were looking for a shot on the Moira, but if you don't have a shot, you can still shoot the shield and, like, contribute to the team in some way. I'm just nitpicking, though. So far, this is fine. Good stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I like, I like this spot. You're taking advantage of Ash's kit, which she needs long sight lines. This is good. I like what I see so far. Just kind of waiting. Maybe not be aiming down sighting all the time. Yeah, be out a little bit so you can so you can scout and see what's going on. Good, good. Coach gone away. I know you're fixated on the doom fist on the on the right there. But you're paying a lot of attention to him. You could be like you're doing now, shooting, shooting more squishy targets. But I like that you're paying attention to your Zen. Very nice. So now let's look at point. Good. I was just thinking, like Bob's not a bad choice here. Focusing the squishy targets. Beautiful. And if if Roadhog is the only target, shoot him. If the Sig Shield's the only target, shoot it. Nice stuff. Good. Keeping an eye out. Yeah. Good awareness. Um, looks like you guys are just kind of rolling them right now. Much better. So I like this position. You're in the back. You're able to have sight lines. Do damage. And if someone tries to challenge you, you just coach gun away. Interesting tranquility. Uh, keep an eye out. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, good. I was about to say, like, definitely use your dynamite more. You want to use, if there's big crowds like that, you want to use that. That's how you build Bob. Nice. I was just hoping. I'm like, okay, I hope you boot this idiot off the map. There's a dynamite moment. Like, you, you just saw him um, use his uh, kinetic grasp. You know he's not going to eat it. But yeah, I, li I like that you're controlling this position. Oh, watch out for him. Good. Good, good, good. Beautiful. Good. Shoot the squishy targets. Build Bob. Wait for your tanks to go in. They might... You might need to have Bob just to engage. Yeah. Beautiful, Bob. Pushing them onto point. P forcing out beat. Use the window. Use It's right there. Use the window. Bro, <laughs> use the window. There you go. Okay, you figured it out. Good. Nice shot. Sorry, again, I'm nitpicking. You're doing a lot of good things right now. Um, but you said it was after this map where things were getting a little confusing. Okay, cool. Nice job. 
Um, right. only, thing, only thing I'm seeing right now is that you could be throwing out more dynamites. But solid aim, good positioning. Um, but let's let's see what's going on here. Now, Ash isn't really as good on this map because there's not as many long sight lines for you to utilize. So, but we'll see what you do. Okay, McCree school. Cool, cool, cool. Double hit scan. I think McCree pick was influenced by the Doomfist. So positioning wise, kind of what I want you to see, what what I want is nice is that you're kind of babysitting your Zen a little bit. You could be taking an off angle right now, I think. I know I just said you could be babysitting your Zen, but I also think that you could be taking an off angle. This is probably one of the reasons why you're not, why you feel like you weren't really doing anything is you're not really giving yourself angles to do damage, which is what you need to be doing. Awesome charge by your Ryan. Good stuff. I like that you stood still to line up the shot. Very good. Nice. You best head for the hills. I'm on fire. Okay, good. Getting out of the way of the fire strike. Yeah, so this is good. Like as they as they come down main, you want to shoot them and do damage. Keeping an eye out on the Doomfist. Let them Awesome. Yeah, I think you were a little, a little too hasty there. You could, you could have waited half a second more and confirmed some kills there. Um, but it looks like it's gonna be okay. You guys are down. It is a pretty even fight for me. Four. This life's never uneventful. You guys are winning though. Cool TP. The yeah, only thing I'm seeing right now is uh, off angle a little bit more. That's all. But from what your comment is, I'm kind of suspecting them to just kind of turn things around. Okay, so you are off angling. Nice. We lost our diva. That's not great. Coming in with Cole. Okay, paying attention to the shoulder soldier, just trying to get him to move out of the way. Beautiful stun. Oh wait, okay. I thought you canceled the graph. Oh. Look at that again. Oops, wrong button. So okay, this is good. Poking down the middle, I find getting away out of the. I think you can aggress on the soldier a little bit more, particularly since he took out his uh, helix. Here's. Zen trance a little too early. They also did throw three ults at you. So that's okay. And you guys use just trans preemptively. Okay, that's fine. I've got unfinished business. Fully healed. So for the recontest. Ouch. Okay, so now you are taking the off angle. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. How can you say you feel like you're not doing anything? Like you literally just killed three of them. Ain't my time. Okay, so your Ryan killed their Ryan. They have Cole again. This might not be... So you guys are running brawl, kind of-ish, but you're not really taking advantage. I think maybe a soldier switch would be more beneficial. Because you can rotate faster. 
Because I think one of the reasons why you're feeling like you are useless is you're not necessarily taking angles and positions that are going to give you advantage so that you can do damage. You're really just kind of hanging out with your Reinhardt and shooting shields. And McCree sucks against shields. Where this guy's taking advantage of high ground, he's running around using Helix Rocket. So I think maybe like a Soldier Switch would be a little more beneficial. Back into the mix. It's high. And you're just like, yeah. Soldier 76 reporting for duty. Score. One to one. Yeah, so what I was seeing there was you have good aim, but it's it's primarily positioning um, that you need to be thinking about. Okay, so there's two, two main questions with positioning. Um, first was, am I safe? And can I do my job? Do my job. So, yeah, I think you were definitely playing a little too safe by your tanks. I want to see you off-angling a little bit more. You have the aim to take duels, a hunt, definitely. Um, so the problem was is that you weren't necessarily... We, the answer to this question, can I do my job, it was no. You weren't really providing a lot of value. And the value that McCree provides is he's a little bit defensive, uh, but no one was really challenging your back line. So in that case... You either switch or go a little bit more on the offensive, as in taking the flank Cree, flank Cree route. This is what I'm talking about with uh, taking those off angles. So you shooting a shield as McCree is you're essentially it's basically close to you doing nothing. Um, but if you're taking off angles and trying to find those gaps behind where people are, you know, they're they're behind the any Ryan shield, but you can still do damage to them. That's ideally what you want to be doing. So find those off angles where you can where you can do damage. All right. Let's continue. And I think learning okay, so you guys got a soldier now. So, and if you are going to be by your Reinhardt and the, against a Reinhardt, an enemy Reinhardt, um, try to flash him. Do something to where it's not just you shooting a shield. So right now, there's there's a brig to the left, and you're shooting. There's a mercy that you could be shooting. Nice. Good. Yeah, see, you got the aim 100%. Absolutely. For whatever reason, you just really like to shoot Rhine Shields as McCree, which is, if you if you, if you think about it, uh, like how much, what are you really providing to the team? So, but there, you, you hit a flashbang, you really opened up a lot of space, and then you started hitting shots and doing damage. Not damage to shields, damage to enemy health. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. So now we start rotating. What are we doing? The, uh, the, the fight's on point. Why are we up here? I think you're waiting for a flank that's not happening. What are you doing? Shoot something. You can kill this Mercy. Oh, please kill this Mercy. Dang. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was a, if you were aware that the enemy team was rotating to point. Um, so you could have rotated to the high ground and done more damage as they were walking or stayed up. Let's, uh, let's talk about that for a second. Let's go up here. So with that fight, I think from what I could see, you were standing right here because you were waiting for a flanker of some sort. But the entire enemy team, they were coming from the choke and they were rotating at a point. So what I would have rather seen you do instead is walk up here 
um, either stand here to have this take advantage of this cover or stand here to take advantage of this cover. I think this spot right here will be a little more invitation and then just shoot them as they're walking up. And if they go to point, there's a little pillar right here that you could stand behind and just do damage. Always with, I think really the biggest thing with you, it's your positioning and you're not putting yourself in a position where you can do your job and your job where you can do your job. Your job as a DPS player is to, you guessed it, do damage. If you're not, if you're not in a place where you're doing damage and getting big picks, and I'm not talking to the shields, I'm talking picks to an Anna mercy and the other DPS. These are your prime targets um, on the list of priorities. Let's uh, talk about DPS uh, priorities. Uh, supports, kill the enemy supports. Um, kill the other DPS so they can't kill your supports. And then tanks, that is that is number three. So three, two, one. Because if you kill their Ana and our main healer is still alive, your front line is going to collapse on their front line. Um, if you also kill their DPS... They're not going to be. They're not going to have as much damage to be able to do to you, and your supports are free to do damage themselves and heal. <clears throat> so really, like your biggest thing is positioning, and you're not standing in places where you can do your job. Okay. And at the end of VOD, we'll we'll talk about how you can develop that skill. Yeah, get this bastard. Get him. Damn. I think you were in flash range. I wonder why you didn't do that. Were you? I think he would have just barely no, I, I would have liked to see you just go for it. What's going on behind you? Okay. Uh, now, there's not anything that you can do where you are right now for the fight that's going on, but I would have liked to see you turn around just to see what's going on. So you have, so another thing you can use for positioning are your audio cues. So you heard a big fight going around you, but still for some reason you're fixated. There's, you're on mouse and keyboard. Just turn around real quick, look to see what it is, and then go back to what you're doing. Nothing wrong with that. Audio cues to gain information so that you can better position yourself. Okay, let's continue. Okay. And if you thought somebody was coming up, let's, let's uh let's look at that. Hmm. Okay, owns you. Why did you give him that much space? You had a mega, you had cover, he had a mercy. Probably what it was, he had a mercy. I th <clears throat> I just think you got to play there. That's all right. Let's start over at the beginning. The objective is mine. Join me if you will. Okay, I think you'd be going for a high noon here. Good. I was about to say, you can roll away. Glad that you got out. Okay. This wouldn't have been a bad high noon. I think a little late. kind of like you thought hey maybe this is a good high noon moment it's like yeah but they I, i'm getting a feeling that you don't really listen to audio cues you heard okay so let's let's break that down let's break this down so notice there zarya has grav and keep a careful eye on like where you're gonna go and you're over here and where it, so if you would have high nooned right now 
from this position, essentially, you would have, as particularly since your Ryan is swinging on the graph, their Ryan is swinging on the graph, you would have essentially kind of negated the graph. Um, Because it, it would have forced them to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, but they're right out in the open. There's not being mercy could get away. But other than that, like you would have maybe gotten th- two or three of them. But I think you hesitated. And really with high noon, like it's not a great ult. You, you can do stuff right, you know, occasionally, but dependent upon the context. But be, be a little more willing to, to throw it out. I, I think this would have been a big play if... um there wasn't hesitation in what in your actions. Yeah, they grab, they shattered, and then now you're like, okay. Mm. But you are off angling more. I'm kind of wondering if you're like, okay, I'm sticking with my tanks, I'm not doing anything. I go off angle, I'm not doing anything. And just soldier beams you down. Why did we die there? Yeah, I, you know, I do this as Zen. My Ryan walks up, and I'm just, for whatever reason, I love to stand in the choke and shoot things. If you would have just walked up with your Ryan, you would have been with him, and you would have survived. So I'm, I'm starting to sense a little, like, a hint of hesitation in your play. Cool. Mm. This will restore you. Allow me. Okay. Allow me to repair the damage. Death walks among you. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So it's it's two main things. So let's start with the good. Aim's pretty good. It's um yeah, you miss some shots. Uh, but over time you'll get more consistent, absolutely. Um but the two main things are your positioning, which we've already talked about, and your hesitation. So that last fight where the soldier killed you at choke, if you, like we said, if you would have walked up with your Reinhardt, he shattered free. It's just so free for you. Um, but because you hesitated, you didn't want to go up with him. You, you decided to challenge the soldier on high ground. So with, so let's, let's talk about positioning first. So again, there's, there's two questions. Am I safe? Am I I safe and can I do my job? If the answer is no to any of these questions, you need to move. And primarily you're staying in the realm of playing too safe. I think you can take a little bit more risks. Um, And that's probably connected to you hesitating. Like I think when you do take those risks, you've been punished in the past and that has led you to hesitating. Um, I actually want you to lean into this a little bit more. Take, take more risks. You have the mechanics to get yourself out of it. Um, and you'll be, pre- you'll be providing yourself way, providing the team way more value by you taking a little bit more risks. I think you definitely play a little, little too safe. Um, let's see. Oh, and then, with with the hesitating, I think yeah, I think you've just um, possibly been, like punished in the past. Maybe. Um. So, 
this is going to take commitment. So when you, when you get a plan, get a plan or see an opportunity, take it. Just go for it. Don't worry about if you mess up the execution. It happens to all of us. Just, but if you're, you know, standing in choke, thinking you're safe, you're just going to die. And I, you know, I do that. I do, I've, I've done this too. We've all done it. So, okay. So how do we develop this? The answer is VOD yourself. So I want, so when you VOD yourself, just solely look, don't look at how good or bad your aim is or like, you know, you getting a four man dead eye. I want you to look at your positioning, positioning. Um, ask yourself those two questions. Am I safe? And can I do my job here? Um, and really, and really just think about like where you're deciding to stand. Um, and then for the hesitation, you know, look for those opportunities in your, in your VODs. Um, so instead of, so that, that first fight on village, you know, you were, you were shooting the Ryan shield, um, but then you hit a flashbang and you started doing a lot of work. That's the type of stuff that we want you to be doing. But when you're playing safe, you can't really be doing things like that. P- uh, playing safe or shooting shields. You can't really be doing stuff like that. Positioning, hesitating. Yeah, so look at your positioning, ask yourself those two questions, and look for those opportunities of where, what if you feel that your APM, your actions per minute, is too low, it's probably because you're, you're hesitating a little bit too much. And look through your VODs, and you, know, you can go into bird's eye view and just try to figure out where else you probably could have been doing. And as you do that over and over and over again, it's just supposed to be like a little cycle thing because you're doing it over and over again. You're gonna, you're just going to start subconsciously doing these things, and so sub- and you're going to be providing more value to the team fight. And another, an easy way to do this is more damage is equal to more value, particularly as DPS. Okay, all right. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm open. I'm free to answer them and thank you guys and for those viewers thank you for making it to the end and i will see you next time